Hi, so my name is Brian Finley. I'm the Director of Instructional Technology at the University of Arkansas at Monticello. We're in the southeast corner of the state next to uh, Texas and Louisiana, and, and we're a, a small college. About 4,000 students, about 180 faculty, and three people who are kind of make up our Blackboard shop, so not a lot of us. But we've been a Blackboard client for like a really long time. We started with WebCT, we moved into the Blackboard world, but we're new to analytics. We just recently completed our analytics uh, integration and that migration and that whole thing. Now we have a lot of data and we have to figure out what we're gonna do with all that data. So if you've been at this conference, I know you've heard a lot about analytics. You've heard about analytics for instructors, you've heard about analytics for faculty, and you've probably heard about like dashboards for administrators. One thing you probably haven't had or a lot of is the audience is being left out of this conversation, and that's faculty developers. And faculty developers really need to be a part of the analytics conversation. Now, we do faculty development at uh, UAM just like everybody else does, and sometimes it doesn't go that great. Sometimes it does. We have our challenges trying to get people in. Um, you know, it's probably our fault. We do a lot of the same workshops over and over again, you know, how to do a discussion board, how to do this. Uh, you know, we've made our mistakes with, with faculty development, I think. I think everybody has. And probably one of the biggest mistakes we've made as faculty developers is we let faculty walk away from a workshop never implementing what they learn. And, you know, we really don't have a good way to know if what we're doing is really making a difference or not. I mean, I think we're just kind of shooting in the dark. So, you know, when we started implementing analytics, we started looking at these reports that are in here and doing these things, and we're thinking, you know, this, this could be the answer for our faculty development because we're seeing things that we didn't really know existed. A lot of our, the things that we assumed that faculty were doing, we were really wrong. So I think we were shooting at the wrong target all along. And, you know, I guess for us, we had a special insight. It was easy for us because, you know, since there's three of us, um, you know, Blackboard, faculty development, analytics, we're all doing that in the same shop. So it kind of it kind of just merged together. It was just a natural path for us to look at look at this. And, um, you know, I know not everybody has that opportunity, so that's why I wanted to talk about this. You know, we hear a lot at this conference about the radical changes taking place in higher ed, and we know that's true. And, you know, everybody has to change in higher ed, including faculty development, but faculty development's really kind of lagging behind in a lot of areas uh, because it's just the same model over and over again. So, you know, the biggest thing you need um, for a faculty developer, you need a better return on your development or better ROI. And you need this because you need financial support on your campus, you need support from your administration, and you need support from your faculty. Analytics and Blackboard analytics can help you um, get the proof that you need for that return on investment. The thing about now that's different for faculty developers is we live in this age where we can actually see things. We can see evidence of teaching and learning. We can see what's going on in our courses. And, you know, that evidence kind of puts a lot more accountability on us as faculty developers to do the right thing. And data has really been our missing link for a long time. I mean, we've had longitudinal studies. I mean, we all see those. Some of us might even read them. But, you know, that data is, it kind of took place in the past, and it's not specific to our campus. And with, you know, analytics, you can have data that's very specific to your campus and very timely. You don't have to wait years to get it. For us, we're gonna to try to look more and focus more on teaching and learning and finding that evidence of teaching and learning in our courses as opposed to teaching our faculty about tools. And um, you know, we think that's gonna make a big difference for us. Now, if you're new to analytics like we were and you're in faculty development, you may not know a lot about analytics, but the good news is with Blackboard Analytics, there's really a lot of low-hanging fruit um, yeah, you don't have to really go out there and learn uh, right away a lot of fancy math. You don't have to really, you know, create a lot of customizations and custom reports because there's some things that you can use, and that's what I'm going to show you real quick in this time that I have left. One of the easiest things is probably the uh, in-class analytics for instructors. Now, of course, you're going to have to teach your instructors how to use this and how to read it, but the, the thing you need to remember as a faculty developer is you need to do your faculty development and tie it to this some way so your faculty can know if what you taught them is really making a difference in their course. They need to see evidence of teaching, that, that teaching and learning is taking place. The other thing is, as a faculty developer, you probably haven't had access to this, but if you were on analytics, there's all these great reports. Here's some categories of those reports. I broke one category out, 
But these reports, this is what I saw that inspired me. These things are like really perfect for faculty developers for us to see what's going on with our faculty. And instead of just, you know, having to have the, the HIPAA or the highest paid person's opinion on what we need to do, we can see it there. So, you know, if you have analytics, you're getting analytics, you know, you, maybe you're thinking now, maybe it's time for us to have a new plan too, because that's, that's what we came about. And looking at this, we saw that there is a way we can change what we're doing. And I think it's going to make a big difference. For us, fall is when we're going to roll analytics out to our faculty. Um, we're going to be data-driven with our faculty development. We're going to be like the Netflix of faculty development. We're going to deliver just the right training to just the right faculty at just the right time. And I think it's going to make a big difference to our faculty and, and the participation. I think it's going to be a very positive thing. So if you're a faculty developer and you're new to analytics, these two documents are, are new, they're relevant, they're not really data-driven, but you're going to need something to measure. You're going to need a KPI. And this has a lot of information in it for things that, that you may want to try to figure out how you're going to measure that you're impacting, because this is how you're going to get the, the um, support you're going to need on your campus to do what you want to do. Because the burden of proof is really on us now as faculty developers. We can't really point our fingers at faculty and say, and they're not doing, you know, if they just did this, it will all work out. You know, it's, the accountability is here for us now, and we have a way to be accountable. So we need to be doing more of that. So the, the key takeaway that I want to leave you with today is if you have analytics on your campus or you're getting analytics, make sure that you're um, involving your faculty developers in your analytics conversation because if there's any great way to get value out of data on your campus, it's with your faculty developers.